I thought the president did a good job, but that doesn't change the you know the four corners of the document. What's in what's in the legislation itself is what is the concern. Um, and our focus has been real simple. Let's let's do what we told the American people we were going to do. This bill doesn't do that. The countdown begins tomorrow. The House will vote on the Obamacare repeal and replace bill. And now at the 11th hour, House conservatives say they do have enough votes to block it, threatening a central piece of the president's growth agenda. The president now racing to flip enough holdouts, meeting for an hour and a half this morning with the conservative Freedom Caucus members. It only takes 22 Republican votes to defeat the House bill. Freedom Caucus says it has 25 no votes against it. Their criticism, it keeps Obamacare regulations in place. It will still drive insurance costs higher. And now this, we've got a voter from Michigan whose Republican congressman, Justin Amash, is part of that Freedom Caucus. My guest, Ken Thompson, says, knock it off, vote for the repeal now. Ken, how does it make you feel that someone you voted into office is going against what you voted him in for? Well, Justin and I have a disagreement on this specific piece of legislation. I believe uh, the process that Paul Ryan and the president have designed is a workable process, and we need to move forward with this bill. It's a three-part bill. The first part is reconciliation, and we need to start somewhere, and this is a good place to start, in my opinion. Do other people, your colleagues, do they agree with you that, you know, if he votes against it, that maybe would you vote against Justin, your, your congressman, rather, and not get him reelected? Uh, no, I, I, I've supported Justin on all his stands over the years. I would support with him even if he disagrees with me on this vote. I believe he should change his mind, but Justin's a very principled gentleman and he's going to stand on his uh, philosophies. I disagree with it on this specific piece of legislation and I believe he should move forward with uh, the leadership for once, though, I, uh, though I've appreciated when he's not stood with the leadership in the past. Do you think Obamacare is bad for the economy? Uh, I know Obamacare is bad for the economy. It's been eight years of bleeding. It's destroyed the uh, local business community. It's put doctors out of business. And I live in a very rural community, and it's limiting our access to uh, medical service even with our local uh, country doctors out here. So can Tea Partiers really go back to their districts and say, you know what, we voted to keep Obamacare in place? Uh, well, that's, that, that's a stretch. Uh, I know uh, Justin wants a more uh, dramatic approach. I don't believe a dramatic approach will work. This mess has been in place for eight years. It's intertwined through the state code or the federal code. It's been designed to be a web of uh, statutory deception. Okay. And you cannot treat it like Alexandria did with the Gordian knot. You have to do this a step-by-step -step process. Ken Thompson, good to see you, sir. Thanks for coming on.